such a joy. She's so curious. Um, she's so smart. When Derek Mize and Johnny Gregg first met, this is how they pictured their future together, raising a child of their own. I'd seen Derek with kids. I knew how good he was with them. And when he said that he wanted them, I was like, this is a, a no-brainer. Of course we should have children. And I felt, even though I was gay and it might look a little different, I still just knew in my heart that I was going to figure out a way. They did figure out a way, and it started in 2017, 4,000 miles away in London with a longtime friend who agreed to be a surrogate to carry their child. An anonymous donor supplied the egg. Johnny's sperm fertilized the embryo. Nine months later, they were all in the delivery room together. Things that just kept going through my mind is, I'm going to meet you now and I'm going to take care of you for the rest of your life. Moments later, they met their daughter, Simone Mize Gregg, born June 2018. There's nothing, I mean, I know it's cliche, but there is nothing like the feeling of a baby that was just born on your chest. <laughs> More than a year later, instead of focusing on Simone's next milestone, they're now fighting to keep her from deportation. While both her fathers are U.S. citizens, the State Department does not recognize her as an American because the father with the biological tie, that's Johnny, did not live in the U.S. for the required amount of time prior to Simone's birth. It completely discounts Derek as a parent who is also listed on the birth certificate. The U.S. Consulate's office in London told them just before they boarded a flight back to Georgia. And she took a deep breath and she said, I'm really so, so sorry to tell you that we will not be able to give you a passport because Simone is not a U.S. citizen. And my heart went to the floor. That was crushing. It was very upsetting. Last month, the couple filed a lawsuit against the State Department and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, claiming the agency's interpretation of its policy unlawfully discriminates against children simply because their parents are same sex. The suit also explains the agency wrongfully applies a section of the law related to unmarried parents, writing, in doing so, State Department officials failed to acknowledge the validity of Mr. Mize and Mr. Gregg's marriage, deemed Simone to have been born out of wedlock, and treated Mr. Mize as if he were not Simone's father. The State Department declined to discuss the litigation. It's important for her to be a U.S. citizen because we're U.S. citizens, and this is where her home is. Since 2018, two other same-sex couples have filed lawsuits against the State Department. It happened to Allison and Stephanie's son, Lucas. The government saying, no, you're not his mother, it makes me feel, again, rejected the things, all the things I've felt from the U.S. And again to Andrew and Elad's son, Ethan. When the twins were born, it was almost like something out of a storybook. The couple has twin boys, Ethan and Aiden, conceived by a surrogate out of the country. The State Department believes only Aiden is a citizen, not his twin brother Ethan, because the sperm used to create his embryo is from his Israeli-born father. If we were a straight couple, and I was a, an Israeli woman, and both of our names were on both kids' birth certificates, would you ever require us to perform a DNA right. test? This past that? February, a federal judge sided with the couple, calling the State Department's policy unconstitutional and unlawful, ruling that Ethan is a United States citizen. Despite the judge's decision, the U.S. government has yet to recognize Lucas or Simone as Americans. They are denying the fact, however, that this child is an American citizen. Representative Hank Johnson is one of about 100 members of Congress who signed a letter this past June demanding the State Department change its discriminatory and cruel policy. Yeah. <laughs> Derek and Johnny live in Johnson's district. It's a clear case of equal protection under the law that is being denied to this same-sex couple with respect to their daughter. Happy birthday! Earlier this summer, Derek and Johnny celebrated their daughter's first birthday in Decatur, Georgia, just before her tourism visa expired, making the only home Simone's ever known a foreign country. If you could say anything to Secretary Pompeo, what would you say? I would invite him over for dinner, to be honest, and 
have them ask us questions that they may have, you know, to figure out what our lives are like. Let's talk about what it means to be a family in America because we're not that different. Mm -hmm.